It's the fall at Stonewall Golf Club and it's gorgeous out here, but the rough is getting really thick. So I'm here to talk to you today about a few thoughts on how to hit it better out of the rough and save some shots out on the golf course. Uh, we're on a par five and I have a shot where the ball is definitely sitting down in the rough. So I have to make a decision in terms of club selection and how I'm going to hit this to get it to come out clean and back in play so I can set up my next shot. So there's no need to go for the green on this shot because it's my second shot on a par five. The smart thing to do is to hit a club that's gonna get me out cleanly. So I could be greedy and pull my three wood or five wood out and try to get it down as far as I can. But honestly, this club with only about 17, 19 degrees aloft is not really gonna get the ball up and out of the rough when it's sitting down. Uh, so I would suggest that you definitely get rid of your fairway wood and don't even grab it and instead get a club that's a lofted iron, maybe mid even to short iron, just to really ensure the ball comes out high and clean. The thing about the rough is that the thick grass grabs onto the hosel of the club and slows it down and so it allows and actually encourages the club face to close as it's trying to pull through the thick grass. So what happens is for any golf club, not just an iron, the club face is gonna twist and close, which makes the ball wanna come out lower and more left if you're a right-handed golfer than it normally would on a fairway lie or a tight lie. So by starting off with a club that has more loft, I've got a seven iron in my hand, that's gonna give me a good chance to get the ball up and out of the rough and down into the fairway. So uh, as far as shot technique goes, another few things that you can try is when you get up to your ball, first of all, take some practice swings and see just how thick the lie really feels so you get a sense of the momentum that you're really gonna need. And also grip pressure. Normally I would suggest with an average shot that you hold the grip sort of medium tight. But you might need to be a little firmer on these rough shots because, again, the grass is going to slow you down. So you have to be firm and really brace a very steady left arm and left wrist position against this thick grass that's going to want to twist your club down. So to put it together, we take our practice swing and we feel the grass, try to get a sense of just how thick it is. Uh, the next thing is alignment. I want to make sure I'm aiming far enough into the fairway and over the rough so I'm not gonna end up back in the rough in case something goes wrong. So watch your alignment. Plan on the ball coming out slightly lower and left than what you normally would. Last but not least, you can adjust your, your club face position and your backswing. So you can even take your club face and twist it just slightly open before you begin. That will compensate for the, for the, the way the ball wants to come out of this lie. And also your swing itself. I would typically recommend and try to have a backswing that was a little steeper and higher than normal. So I'm going to feel like instead of a big shoulder turn, which gets me too much around and too flat and sweepy, to really pick my arms up, almost like I'm lifting the club as if I was going to hit a big cut shot. So I'm going to lift the club up. I'm going to try to cut into the grass like I'm really chopping in, in there steeply and then swing through with a really strong finish and a really steady hand and wrist position so I don't let that club twist. So I'm going to try to do my best to hit a nice cut shot and uh, get this ball out of the rough. So practice swing, really let that club dig into the grass, line up my shot with a slightly open club face, ready to go. All right, that ball came out nice and high and nice and clean and I'm back in play. Good luck the next time you find yourself in the rough this fall.